everybody. Welcome back to Grandma's Corner for yet another great book. Today we are going to read A Remainder of One. Remember that other book we read about ants where they were dividing themselves into lines of twos and threes and fours and they made such a mess they didn't get to the picnic on time and didn't have any food? Well, this is the same author. This is Eleanor J. Princess. And we're going to read another great book about ants. But I'm going to need my cheaters today because this print is a little tiny for my eyeballs. All right, A Remainder of One. The story of Joe might just well explain what happens to members when they must remain. After division and they're left behind as lonesome remainders, it seems so unkind. Hmm, got some math words going on there. Down by an orchard of young apple trees, the sunshine felt hot, about 90 degrees. So insects all scurried for any cool shade from mushroom or leaf. They watched a parade. Lots of action happening there. The 25th Squadron marched past the bug crowd, bound and determined to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by two for the show. Each bug had a partner, except Soldier Joe. Well, that one must be Soldier Joe all by himself. Two, three, four, hup, two, three, four. We're in the 25th Army Corps. Queens count two, three. We are the marching infantry. I think you can spot the queen. The queen wasn't pleased. We're unhappy to find the one soldiers left at the end of the line. A honeybee hovered above Lone Joe's head. The queen likes things tidy, the bee sternly said. Hmm, now they gotta figure out what to do. I'm so sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. You must stand aside so the troop will be even. The two lines of twelve then marched neatly away, while Bug Soldier Joe had no choice but to stay. Well, that's a bummer. Lone Soldier Joe learned it wasn't much fun to find himself labeled remainder of one. The Brainy Bug Soldier stayed up the whole night. Perhaps one more line would make everything right. So he's trying to devise a plan how he can get back in with the rest of the ants and make the queen happy. All 25 soldiers marched past the bug crowd, nervously hoping they'd make their queen proud. The troop had divided by three for the show. Each line seemed perfect. Then someone spied Joe. Well, there he is again. The remainder of one. So they have 25 ants, and right now they have three rows, and in each row there are eight. So three times eight is 24, plus the one is 25. But the queen likes it nice and tidy, so that's not going to work. Huh. Two, three, four, we're in the 25th Army Corps. Queens count, two, three, we are the marching infantry. The regal head shook. It's disturbing to find an oddball bug at the end of the line. A slender mosquito loomed over Joe's head. Too bad you're a misfit, the pest sharply said. Well, those are not very kind words. When he's telling poor Joe he's a misfit, that means he's telling him he doesn't belong. And that's just not true. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe Sergeant Stephen. If you stand aside, then the troop will look even. 
The three lines of eight all marched neatly away, while sad and disheartened, poor Joe had to stay. The oddball bug Joe knew it wasn't much fun to feel left out a remainder of one. Again, the lone soldier thought all through the night, with one more bug line, it might work out right. Hmm. So they had three lines of eight, and now he's thinking maybe a different configuration. Oh, let's see what we have here. The 25th Squadron marched past the bug crowd, anxiously longing to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by four for the show. The lines all looked even until they spotted Joe. Oh, there he is again, not fitting in. So now there are one, two, three, four lines, and in each line there are six. And four times six is 24, and here's the extra one, 25. Well, that still didn't come out right. Joe better get his thinking cap on. Her Highness pointed, we're angry to find, a tag-along bug at the end of one line. A shy dragonfly fluttered over Joe's head. Now don't get discouraged, the fly softly said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. You must stand aside. Then the troop will be even. As for lines of six marched so neatly away, said sad Joe wouldn't watch, for he had to stay. Poor Tagalong Joe didn't have any fun, always left out a remainder of one. But hard-thinking Joe had the answer that night. Another bug line must make it work right. Boy, he sure does a lot of thinking. The 25th Squadron marched past the proud queen, the neatest best troopers that she'd ever seen. Five lines of soldiers with five in each row, perfect at last, and that's counting Joe. Now look at that. Mathematically, they figured it out. Five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and five in each row. One, two, three, four, five. So five times five is 25. Hey, look at how happy she is. Good show, said her grace. Your rows are divine. We see no remainder to ruin your line. The troop took great pride in their skill at dividing. Joe was pleased he was there marching and hiding. Oh, marching, not hiding. Ha, ah, sorry. The coolest bug soldier beneath the hot sun, Smart Joe, the former, remainder of one. So Joe had to do a lot of thinking to get those lines in the right numbers and the right number of rows in order to include all 25. And you know what? That's really important to include everybody. You never want to be the remainder of one. You don't want to be the odd man out. So make sure that when you do some dividing of people and your friends, everything's equal. So we don't have any sad remainders of one. Well, thank you for joining me. And next time I'm going to read the book called Three Billy Goats Gruff. Remember that story? All right, you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again. All right, guys, time to go to bed. I'm dressed up in my nighttime gear, so let's get sleeping. All righty, ta-ta.